Hi friends, uh, today we are going to talk about something about RFC function modules. Okay, this is this is a series that I have started for people who are going through a BAP interviews and they might have this question. Uh, though the question that is being asked is, I think is not relevant because it doesn't matter. Uh, he, the person who is coding really doesn't need to know how, what is an RFC, what are the different features, but I cannot change the viewpoint of a questioner because I have seen when I have also given interviews uh, some time back or something this question has been asked but I feel it's not really relevant but you know uh, you never know because you cannot ask the question it's you know the question is really not uh, not really good you have to answer it okay so here is the thing so you go to SE 37 and you have to pick a sample function model I'll say BAPI PO change is a sample function module and here, if you see, this is where you see is a remote enabled function model. So the question is, what is the difference between a normal function model and a remote enabled function model? RFC function model is becoming more popular because you have more uh, uh, cloud solutions that is getting data, uh, fetching data from SAP. And sometimes we are giving out data for reporting purposes and all those things. You have REST and SOAP APIs, you know, JSON and the SOAP. XML. So here you can see the attributes here. If you notice, this is remote enabled function. Now, what is the real difference? The real difference in a remote enabled function model, and whenever you create, you get the prompt. Everything needs to be passed by value. That's the first thing. That's the biggest thing you have to do. Okay, everything needs to be passed by value. Okay, because you get this error. And this is the question they will ask in an interview, and you have to say. This is passed by value and that's it. You don't need to tell anything else. Okay. It needs to be passed by value. That's the major important about RFC uh, because, and again, RFC is used for calling another, for calling SAP from outside, S, from outside system for reporting purpose, for updating purpose, you name it. For SOAP APIs, REST APIs, there's lots of, and by default, most of the BAPIs are remote enabled function modules. So if you want, you can get a detail. You can click on F1 and you don't get much information. But from here, you can get all this information. This remote enabled function model is very much utilized in the interface start error as well as standard bug that is will have remote enabled function. Model. So again, this is a question that they will ask and uh, be prepared for. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like, share and subscribe to it and have a